hand-me-downs when you are a child are one thing, but how to show your gratitude if a coworker hands off some barely worn designer duds. My colleague gives me his cast-offs. What should I give him? The moneyologist Quentin Fatrell is here to help. Quentin, great to see you. Great to see you. So your reader says that he has a colleague who gives him some really nice clothes simply because he doesn't have the closet space. Right, and he clearly likes to upgrade his wardrobe. Frequently. Yes, <laughs> who doesn't wish they could afford to do that? Sounds great. Now, so, and I get the whole thing about the small closets. Trust me, in New York, I totally can imagine doing that. So that makes perfect sense. Right. What does this, your reader, though, say about it? He says that he feels fine or a little awkward? No, he actually feels fine about it. Okay. You know, and he wants to find a way to thank him, and he's concerned that he doesn't seem ungrateful. Ah, uh, okay, so this is the tricky part, because you right. can't really, as you warn him, do a tit for tat here. So, yeah, I mean, this offer, offering somebody so many nice things on such a regular basis, I tell this guy, is really tantamount to an offer of friendship. And you can only accept them if you're at 100% comfortable. If you don't feel like the relationship really supports that kind of generosity, then you have to decline them. If, on the other hand, you do like this guy, you can't turn a gesture into a transaction because he was wondering what percentage of the value of the clothes should I offer. And you know, that's fine because that's where we come in. But right. um, my advice to him is to um, maybe when they're out for dinner and drips and drops, just do nice things here and there, like say, I'm, let me pick up this check. Or right. when he has a party, make sure this guy is invited because like I said, it's an offer of friendship. Invite him to your, ha your home the next time you have a party. Wear one of the jump or the sweaters that he, um, that he gave you. Tickets to a Mets game or a Yankees game. Right. Oh, they just fell on my lap. I don't know where they came from. Hey, do you want to go if he's a fan? That's so. Nice. So don't try to calculate the value and no. a percentage of. Just do something nice for him. Uh, yes, but be calculated in the sense that it has to be a, a nice gesture that is not related to the value of the clothes. Right. You also said, interestingly enough, that there's another danger here, <laughs> that he could become used to this. Right. <laughs> you know, the, getting designer duds for free. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I, you know, I have a friend, friend who says, you know, once you go cashmere, you never go back <laughs> That's there. That's right. Yeah. So he's getting a lot of, you know, a lot of uh, nice cashmere sweaters. He might want to start, because, you know, cashmere is nice and soft. He may yes. want to start buying cashmere for himself. So right. be aware of Or you can just start throwing too. these clothing swap parties. I used to do this with my girlfriends after college. It was so much fun. You get together, share a bottle of wine, bring clothes that you're tired of, your friends bring clothes that they're tired of, and everybody swaps. Well, you have very close. I wish we could do it, but <laughs> we, I might do <laughs> We might find a few things. We could <laughs> it could happen, believe me. Right. Um, I love that shirt, by the way. I love that tie. All right, Quentin, we'll, we'll carry this on after the break. Thank you so much for that.